What's up, everybody? Yeah. Welcome to an episode of We Them Dudes, but we're doing a horror movie. Is it a horror movie? It's a badass movie. It's a bad. I think it's a comic book movie. Technically. Yeah. Comic book. Keanu Reeves. The Keanos. Spirits. Uh, shout and out to Rod hell. for uh, recommending this shit, dude. Miss you, bro. So I know I'm not at that job no more, but not that you. job no yeah. more. Yeah. Uh, we're talking, of course, of fucking way back in 2005, man. Constantine. Mm. The Keanu Reeves. The Reese. First off, I don't know a bad movie. Like, maybe, like, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, but, like, he did come out in SpongeBob as a tumbleweed. Or he was, uh, like, Jesus or some shit. Like, I don't remember. But it's. Right. I mean, there's a one that's called that where he was, uh, it, basically not the Matrix, but there was, he was downloading things in his head. He has short hair. It was, like, right after fucking Speed and. He wasn't really popular that way he is today, but uh, it, it was sort of a cheap movie. I don't know why I'm making that point. Sorry, yeah, go ahead. No. Like Constantine, if you don't know what it is, Constantine. It's, uh, it's, it's a, he's a guy who committed. He tried to commit suicide <coughs> and he, and they, at a young age. At a young age, and they brought him back. So now you know the devil's hot on his tail because they want his soul. His, it's a soul destined for hell. Yeah. And so what he does, he's essentially they say it in the movie. Essentially, he's trying to buy his way into heaven by. He, being a crusader for God and right, sending all, right, these, right. all these demons back to hell. Um, so, yeah, well, like uh, going back, uh, uh, talking about the and, and and when you go when you cross over in, in this in this movie and in this kind of this folk tale, um, <laughs> it's like it could be years, it could be decades almost in hell, but it could be a matter of minutes or seconds as you uh, are going to cross over or not. But purely in, in that in that time frame when he was. Uh, Cause he closed, he was suicidal, so he went straight to hell, and that's why he was uh he was doing whatever. I, w I want to know that story when he was young, the before. Yeah, before that, because he clearly they they bring him back. It was only seconds that he died, but in those seconds it was like like it was lifetimes. So you can imagine wh what shit that he's done and got underneath the devil's skin, but clearly he's a kid at this at this point. But he grows up, and they, again he's working as a, like a, as a good guy because. Yeah. Who smokes consistently. He's smoking consistently, has a f shitty fucking attitude. He does. He really uh, fucking does. And he he knows people that he knows, but he'd been fighting through the, I don't know, I, I couldn't say, I don't, I can't remember, I want to say the Crusades, but that's, uh, that's Dante. That's not <laughs> goddamn. Really <laughs> God damn it. No, but uh, I love it, because uh, you meet characters that he knows, even, uh, shout out to the singer of Bush, uh, Balthazar, remember? Balthazar, yeah. Balthazar, man, it was right. It was uh, Gavin, whatever his name was, but um, I see I didn't know that. Um, yeah, the one, yeah, when he spits his, on his face, where he does that. Yeah, yeah Balthazar, the demon. That was pretty. Funny he's actually though. a singer, and a little thing about his, uh, him uh, that I noticed when I was younger, and uh, I can't remember what year was it, and what's a festival, but uh, there was a festival he was singing, and uh, this is a uh, guy singer for Bush. Good Bush. Um, Good Bush, bad Bush. Bad Bush. But it was raining, and they were trying to evacuate everybody from the stage, but he, uh, he kept going. I don't know if that was reckless or badass. It was definitely a moment that I remember of Gavin from Bush. Gavin from Bush. We don't have a last name. We're not good with names, if you haven't noticed. But yeah. You know who the fuck I'm talking about. But, uh, you know, as he's, <laughs> as he's growing up, uh, he's, sending, yeah. he's starting to notice shit that's going on. Like, something, there's a shift in the, pow in the balance of power. Um, so, apparently, not only did God have a son, you know, Jesus Christ, um... Jesus hung. They have no idea where they're getting Christ from. But uh, <laughs> yeah. apparently, the Lucifer had a son too. You know, he had he has to match God. He has to prove that he's equal with him, even though he's not. But he has a son too called right. called Memnon. Memo. Memo. Memnon. And Memon. It's uh, Memnon is is tired. It always happens like that. They're tired of uh, he's tired of his dad's rule, so he's trying to take over Earth so he can make his own kingdom. Yeah, because you know the whole thing that uh, it, the the bet between him and God is the, the Earth is going to be handed to devil for our sins, but he doesn't like it. Doesn't you know? Sometimes he, he's trying to say I'm waiting for my time because that was the whole agreement. You know? Yeah. He, I'm going to win him over all this shit. And it's almost happening, bro. All these motherfuckers. Got Cruz. 
Tom Cruise. God, Tom I'm just Cruise. saying. This is the second time Tom Cruise has been called out on this channel. <laughs> so, but anyways, uh, uh, out, you but, know, believe in what you believe in, man. Your heart will never lie to you. Yeah. Um, so that's going on. But the, the crazy thing, what I thought it was like, he cannot cross over because it's, it's impossible for demons to cross over yeah. without the help of God. So, goddamn Gabriel. Gabriel gets the Spear of Destiny. Hey, and that, I, that's I how he's going to release him. I do like her. I like how when she came out, the wings are showing. Like, just for that instant moment, how they they uh, they, they they brought her in, and she's like, I don't know, I don't know if you know her name. She's the, the girl who played Gabriel. I don't know her name, but she's a weird chick too. But so. he, you didn't mention the Spear of Destiny. Spear of Destiny. The elf of Destiny. <laughs> uh, this is that's what basically what uh, what I think was changing up. Because someone finds it in Mexico. In Mexico, of all and, uh, not Oh, wrapped <laughs> in a Nazi flag. In a Nazi way, flag. Goes so you, that, that whole theory that, that Hitler had the spirit of destiny, and that's how he assumed power over Germany. He and that's how shit, he man. started he that shit. shit. Yeah. So I thought, like, the little subliminal messages, the little conspiracy theories that are out there in it was pretty fucking tasteful, and I, I enjoyed it very oh, much. Oh, for, sh for sure. And then... Uh, then we not even mentioned, like, the, there's a... The, uh, in the meanwhile, you know, you gotta be... Uh, you gotta connect to the... The, the human us us because that's like a, a world behind the world. And I love that when he tells her that like it's a world behind the world and it's just like and that's what I was trying to say when he, as soon as you die that everything that we see it's like the reverse and it's just all everything's on fire and there's little no fucking fire. demons and they show part of that when he does go to hell to see that this uh, detective that I'm trying to talk about and her sister her twin sister I and know. I love the fact that. And I, I believe this is true. Uh, when you have that ability to see the third eye, to see something that could be happening, third eye, whispering brown eye, eye. <laughs> whispering eye. This is Jesus Christ. Hey, put that on there. <laughs> uh, oh my but, God. Uh, but like to have that, when her sister embraced it, and she didn't, cause she was afraid. She said she didn't want to. Uh, she didn't want to deal with all the, the people making fun of her and stuff. But her sister was like, and that's the heartbroken moment for me too. Like. Damn, she trusted you and you let her down, but because you, you're you were afraid of what other people think, mm -hmm. and for for but for that she it kind of saved her because when she say goodbye, don't acknowledge those kind of uh, those gifts that I think that are around this this world, mm -hmm. uh, you know, instincts, uh, intuition, um, you know, hell, the little stomach, of the little pain in my stomach, like don't do this or don't uh, or do take it, yeah. I take it a lot. Uh, your little conscience awesome. telling you or whatever. Exactly, yeah. like you know we. Open up to ourselves to them, you know, and we never know, man. You, if you're, if you're a good person in soul, but I love that how it, the sister, that's the way, she she always felt it, but she denied it, and so yeah. it kind of saved her, and her sister was clearly dragged, drugged from the, from Memon yeah. to kill herself, and then that's how he was, yeah, cause don't it, tell me about this movie, I know Because uh, they, the whole thing is, like, he has to, he has to possess a powerful uh, seer or something, like, uh, like somebody who can uh, sense yeah. that shit. <laughs> So the when the one who's locked right. up in the kooky in the kooky bin and the, the loony bin fucking uh the Turkish, tokus. Uh, tokus, uh like when she took her life she obviously went to hell and again up to theory or whatever you believe and then the only thing that left was the sister so once she started seeing that just opened up okay I can still yeah I can still do this so the way they went about it how he makes uh, the spells and everything even like when the cats. He, when he involves uh, like Papa, cats, man. Papa Midnight. Yeah, Papa funny, Midnight, like, bro. We love dope. that guy. Like, it, it was just a lot. And that, I know he's a DC character. Uh, John Constantine <laughs> is a DC character. Yeah, and then there's there's uh, anime movies with them on HBO Max. Come on, man. HBO Max. I've been, I've been throwing y'all shit since the beginning, bro. From the beginning. Go but, on. like, it, it, was, it, it was just a... Uh, I'm really into, like, the whole heaven and hell thing. So that's, like, this was, like, right on my alley. And then, you know, fighting them. Instead of making peace, like they're like that, where like Papa Midnight hung up his like hung up his gloves. And he was neutral. Yeah, he was neutral, and but he was he was the only one playing by the, he was the only one playing by the rules. And that's what John needed him to fucking say. Oh yeah, dude. When uh, that's what John needed him to see, like bro, he's like nobody's doing it no more. Like it's all corrupt. Even though he still stayed neutral even at the end, but he helped. But he did it, yeah. He was to, like, like yeah to go he, fight. Could you imagine it? Because he does say he does make a reference like. You were, you were the John Constantine because he, he was like remembering all this stuff that they did when they were younger. Why John, John was like a force to be reckoned with, I believe, in this spirit world, uh, spirit fight, what have you. What yeah, 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 that's exactly. Uh, right. But now he's all fucking he's, full of. Uh, he's a he's still human, by the way. Yeah. So he's already breaking down. By the way, he smokes. 
20 p uh, packs of cigarettes a day when, since you were 18, whatever yeah, she says, yeah, or yeah. since you were... So he has lung cancer. So he's already dying. So he's trying... This is his last run, and and I think, and at the same time, this was happening with my mom, my mom, my mom. Yeah. Mom is me. Mom is me? Never mind, sorry. Mammoth. <laughs> <laughs> Mammoth. Uh, so yeah, man, it's... Uh, I guess Keanu Reeves our favorite actor. Uh, the, our favorite all actor. the... All, like if, again, if you're, if you're not big on religion, it is what it is, but like it, how they touch on certain things and... Uh, like the afterlife, and then uh, how if you are a soul that is sin, like you you can get into heaven still, but you have to like what is it's called the sacrifice. So he sacrifices himself so that way he could bring Lucifer up from hell because he's the only soul that he will come and get himself personally. Pretty, yeah, personally, he will come down. I mean, up, come up, eat up, or eat down. Know. He eats something. <laughs> it's not good. And he comes and gets something. We love this actor. From fucking in, from Armageddon, everything dude. made you in China. <laughs> everything made in Taiwan. <laughs> the Rus the, he was a damn good devil too, bro. I'm probably gonna get shit from this from the guy who commented on my legend video. I just wanna point that out. If you're if you're watching, fucker, I hope you like this one too, cause he was a damn good devil too, and I liked it. First off, what a dick the the devil was. He can, he's still wearing his I say his his angel gown. He was wearing white. I he's love in it. Hell and his I feet are covered in tar. In tar, like he was walking through that shit. It's just little, little details. Yeah. Especially how he comes in when. It was yeah, dude, it was fuck. It was fucking. He's dumb, coming. Right? I guess I was saying if he's coming up or down because he was. He, he comes arrived. down like he, he comes arrived, down like that. Yeah. Like, from the top, so it was fucking dope. Like even and, still listening to him, but, his, his monologue and all that is fucking hilarious. Oh, dude, like it's so fucking dope. The ten when you cut. Well, anyways, John makes it. You know, and he knows licks. that he's gonna come, and then and like I'm saying, when you commit that that uh, that act of the, if you are, it happens to you that that second, like things stop in the world, and uh, the devil has time to do it because Mammon's almost succeeding from escaping because of Gabriel's help. Yeah. At this point, because they have the psychic, the detective. I forget her name. She's pretty cool too. She's a Scientologist too, or she was. And she's out now, but still. That's what I'm saying, bro. So, uh, it stops time, and then it, that's when they have their interaction, and he tells them, like, uh, he's like, I got, I, you know, I got cartons for you, and I do believe that uh, in, in hell, like, we're going to do all the stuff that we think that we, we enjoy, like, I will eat thousands of burgers, and I think I'll love that. No. No, it's like, it's pain. I was in quarantine for 10 days, and I fucking hated it. So. Yeah, it sucks ass. Just it was 2020 all over again. Dude, 2020, and uh, DoorDash took all my money. <laughs> Fucking DoorDash. <laughs> and, I, and I had mountains of shit. It was fun. I mean, not it was, fun. It was fun. I didn't catch up on uh, fucking Vikings, but it was not fun. We're getting there. But not, it, this movie is a must-see. We own the Blu-ray, so I don't know and, where you were watching. And it was just one of those, one of those things that we watch even in Halloween. We like we put that in as a... Because I, I consider that like in that kind of realm because, you know, we don't know what the fuck. But, uh, I agree. Out there. And... But I, I, uh, we love this movie ever since we've seen it. Uh, I wish they would have did some more, at least some sequels or some prequels. So oh, I, like to see I still want to see. It. Wow, I have a dog and he's right here. It's just like he's he's a pug, so he's snoring. So it's funny if you hear it, you hear it. If you don't, you don't. But it's in the audio, bro. It's in the audio. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this this if you're a big conspiracy theorist, this touches on it. You know the whole thing, the world behind the world, like you said. The dope. the. The Bob, yeah, and yeah, remember that shit? And uh, the, Sh the Shia LaBeouf's. Shia LaBeouf, when the he was buff, really when he fucking was, young, before he was Before he was fucked up the buff. Before he was the buff. But he's awesome, man. He's, he, like, he, he's coming out of a new movie where he's playing a monk with Willem Dafoe. Oh, God. That's what I know. It's like The Last Temptation of Christ. It's an ugly-ass Jesus for an ugly-ass movie. I just want to point that out. How's he going to play that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, How's he going to play that when he's high? No, uh, but, uh... But guys, I, if just uh, but just check it out and let me know what y'all thought about it. What y'all so again, if if any like Universal or anybody's watching it, make a uh, a prequel because I would love to see when uh, Papa Midnight, John Constantine, and uh, I forgot the other guy's name, the guy who provided all the equipment. Yeah, Those yeah, the uh, three Crusaders that went oh, up against yeah. armies, and, and I was like, I want to know what army, what was invading exactly, and what was that, what that we didn't see, or it was behind everybody's eyes, and then they were fighting this shit. But it could have been more. You know, I, I would like to think there was more uh, characters that were fighting in our side, but these were the last ones yeah, that survived, you yeah, know, like John was the last of the last, and that's what they can't believe, this this human, like, you know, is doing he, all this shit. It's yeah. still in the game, and even the, like, the exorcism that he did, it was, it was, it was really, it was really yeah, good, I thought it was, it was there. Yeah, it was like, basic. learn new things about different demons, 
uh, how to expel demons and stuff like that. So it was like, it, I don't want to say it's accurate because they probably did change things, but it was like, it was pretty fucking dope from seeing movies years on and then like, these guys kind of apply it, but then make it their own twist on how to deal with demons and mm -hmm. the conspiracy of demons on how they're trying to come over and corrupt and all that, you know? And even like the whole thing, because I, I, again, like I do believe in love and fear God. It's just like the little things that they say about them too were like, because like, uh, let me say this before uh, with Futurama, they, I know it's a, it's a stupid thing, <laughs> but like they supposedly been there meets God, and he says he's like if you do something correctly, people will think that you didn't do anything at all, and so we think you know like God doesn't exist because he's in the backfield, but he is he is helping him, and then the same thing that John Constantine is like when he references God, he's like. God's a kid with an ant farm. He doesn't have a major plan. He's just kind of watching. Yeah. The Supernatural touched on it too with Chuck when, like, he's he made all these planets that are almost identical, but they're like different things. Like he's testing out different timelines, or you know, this is the apocalypse world, or this is what happened in this world. This happened instead of this. These people met instead of these people. Like, it, it's you know, it's crazy because it's like I like that theory. You know, like why wouldn't he have? multiple shit and he's just kind of watching yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean but sure. he is helping he's for helping sure. but yeah. he's just not helping where we see it right away he's seen it like he's doing it so good we did we just don't we don't know what he's doing so it, you know so he's saying when he created it he was like oh let's put this is gonna be my pets the dinosaurs oh yeah. so he started making other planets and I was like oh shit 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 let me get rid of these guys <laughs> <laughs> this atmosphere was pretty good we create these and homo sapiens and see what they do so. and they were killing each other because we're fucking idiots come yeah. on so yeah i'm sorry i mean i'm not i mean I'm not calling you an idiot please please subscribe please. i think <laughs> i think the lucifer in uh dante's inferno said it best that um yes that earth is another form of hell and you know man is his demons so it's like and i like the whole thing too like you said Super. earlier where like they kind of made a deal with the devil and god shook. i know a lot of people don't want to hear that but i think they shook hands and they're just kind of seeing what humanity's playing out and who's yeah. going to rule at the end of it, you know? Yeah, and I think that and then we, we take it, trying to take that shit from the schools and stuff. I mean, again, it was written by a uh, man. We can't, we can't say, we can't deny that that book didn't come from anywhere. We don't know what the origins are. That's why we had to take commandments. Love that movie, Charles Heston, the new one. Yeah. But we know what we feel in your heart. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah. you're good or bad. If you if you're good, you can hear this little thing saying do the right thing. Get up every morning, mm -hmm. fucking take care of your kids. And not Spike Lee do the right thing. Not Spike Lee do the right thing, but do the right thing. Yeah. And feel good about it, and go to sleep well. Well, yeah. I think that's what that's what that's what God is to me. Like I've seen His uh, gifts, and I've seen His uh, you know He does take it and give it and take it away, whatever. But exactly. I've seen it. I've been witness of His miracles too. So yeah, exactly. So you know, we're I mean, still here. It's up to the bait guys. We're not really. I don't. I don't know. I'm, I was baptized Catholic, but I don't force my beliefs on anybody. And then, you know, like, if, if anything, if you've seen Vikings, I'm kind of like at uh, Athelstan. I think I'm saying his name wrong. Yeah. He was a monk, and then he spent time with the Vikings, and he can see the similarities. We, they all branched off from one thing. It's like the Bible, he said, it's like, I do believe God told a man or a woman, whoever wrote it, but I think man altered it for their benefit. So yeah, I just of course. That out. So again, if you're not with it, I don't give a fuck. But, yeah, of course. And, and like, that's why we decided to make this episode at We Them Dudes because we could say whatever the fuck we want on it. And, you know, Creature of the Night, I do say whatever the fuck I want on it, but I do kind of hold back on a little bit. And this is the this is the show that I we can get away with. It. So if you don't like it, you don't like it. So, <laughs> so screw you. So screw you. <laughs> nah. Screw you and nah, subscribe. But, <laughs> <laughs> but appreciate you guys who are loyal to us. You know, keep spreading the word out and just let us know. Uh, you know, my, my fans out there, I want to just tell y'all. <laughs> I want to tell y'all that. But Constantine, love it. We got some, hopefully we get some more. There's another uh, uh, um, Keanu Reeves movie that we should do. But I don't know if we did it. Did you do it? Probably, which one? Devil's Advocate. Oh, no, not yet. I, I have to rewatch it because it's been, it's been a hot minute since I've seen so, it. So, yeah. I, I, I think that's a good one because he got a few uh, scary he got, movies. He, he got some, a few scary movies in there and... It is what it is, guys. But yeah, hey, Rod, Sorry. I hope you liked the review. I know it got a little serious towards the end. Hey, it is bro. What it is, but you asked for it. So, yeah, guys, I'm Toxin. Random here. Random thoughts. His show will be, his uh, channel is going to get up going, guys. We're just. I know. I, we're um, working like crazy. And again, he just got out of quarantine, so we're trying I, to get I shit together. He just got prison. Oh, my God. No, I'm just kidding. So, yeah, guys, so next time, stay rebellious, guys. And stay, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Later, bro.